Hi, welcome to TGN's YouTube channel. All right, I'm Jason, and today we'll be talking about the G3 Instant. All right, so basically, before that, there was another video on the unboxing of the G3 Instant. Now we'll be talking about how we set it up, and for today's uh, purpose, all right, as you can hear, there's sound coming up from the G3 Instant waiting for me to adopt and then go into our UDM Pro. Okay. So uh, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to be using my iPhone all right, with my Unify Protect. Okay, We will integrate all the, all the process into the video and you will see it and as it grows along then you will know what happens. Okay, uh, Of course you can play back the video to see uh, what actually happens. Okay, um, For the purpose of our demonstration today, we will be using the UDM Pro okay, uh, which we have in our network. Uh, we have not only a G3 instant which we're going to be using, we will also have the G4 Dome which we have done uh, previously on the unboxing and also we have a G3 Pro okay so the G3 Pro will be uh, looking at outside of our office and the G4 Dome actually we are doing some testing by looking at some images and text okay so that's what we are doing alright uh, without much ado let me uh, do some um, adoption for the camera so what's going to happen is we have to prepare the we have to prepare the Unify Protect okay so I'm going to start up my Unify Protect and it's going to lock into my Unify Protect which connects to my UDM Pro okay and the first thing that it finds is you will see here it says a new device found and it will show that it's very close and it's connecting using Bluetooth okay so I have actually activated the Bluetooth on my phone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit okay so the phone is going to connect to the G3 instant. Okay, so it's trying to connect to the network and see what happens. Okay, once it's connected, it will turn blue. Once it is, okay, so we got the right password. And what's going to happen to the G3 instant is it's going to be connected and it's going to ask you, okay, what's the name for the camera okay so over here we're just going to call it g3 instant i'm going to call next and so over here you can see me okay uh, i'm looking at myself all right so there and there it's done okay so on the phone itself uh it's already done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my udm pro to show you how it's going to look like okay over on my side okay so Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Right, so let's see. Alright, so let's take a look at the UD UDM Pro. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so over here, you can see that we have added in uh, the camera over here. Okay, and what's going to happen is you got to go into your UDM Pro. All right, in my case, I'll go to devices and you can see that I have a few cameras. I have a G3 Pro, I have a G4 Dome, and I also have the G3 Instant, which is what we are looking at right now. Okay, so over here you can see stream live, okay, of me and my surrounding, okay. All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna show you guys the settings that you have um, it basically has the same settings as what you have for your G4 Dome or G3 Pro okay it's very similar so you have your status where it shows you how is it connected uh, what's happening okay and in terms of camera what are the things that you can do all right you can adjust the quality of the microphone all right uh, whether you have sound or lights okay and also the overlay information like in my case uh, I have triggered and switched on all the overlay information Recording wise, uh, whether is it always or based on motion, okay, so if you want to save some space, okay uh, In my case, I set it on motion, okay, so you will only record whenever there's motion Now in terms of recording quality, you can see if you want it on 30 frames or in terms of the bitrate whether you want it better quality, okay Now in terms of motion if events, you can also set the sensitivity, okay and also you can set the motion zones uh, especially or if you have some privacy zones okay now in terms of the management okay of course you can reboot it or you can unmanage it in case you want to move it somewhere else um, now another thing is if you want to record it beyond just on your cloud key UEN VR or your UDM Pro 
You can also do RTSP to a Synology NAS, for example. In our previous uh, video, we have also done one video on how you can set up the RTSP. Okay, so you can all you have to do is just get the uh, URL. So when you've done the URL, add it into your Synology NAS, and then you'll be part of your recording into your Synology NAS. And you can also use the Synology app to see it. Okay, so um, other than that, of course, from the video itself, you can also do some adjustments. All right, so these are some of the adjustments that you can do. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, uh, other than that, of course, if there are events triggered, okay, so in our case, we have triggered some events other than the cameras that's outside on the road facing. Okay, and you can also see the time lapse of the cameras if you have. Okay, this concludes our presentation today, all right, on how to set up the G3 instant with our UDM Pro, all right. If you have any questions, please feel free to write to us in the comments or else please remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.